Hello everybody, and here we're back with another unboxing, um, Mansions of Madness 2nd Edition Beyond the Threshold Expansion. Now this is, I believe, the first real expansion that came out because we also have the two tile sets which were essentially ported over from the um, first edition. So this is the first real expansion for Mansions of Madness 2nd Edition, and the, the second expansion is also out or will be out soon, I don't know actually, um, and it's called Streets of Arc. So let's take a look at this. It's a small one, fairly cheap. I got it for, I believe, £20. Um, first of all, I really like, and I hope I can zoom in, I really like uh, the box art. This is beautiful. You know, the old mansion here, you've got the tentacles, the old car. Um, a really, really lovely um, box art. Um, on the side we have um, information on who's in the box, so that's um, Okachi Aniele, we know her from of course um, Eldritch Horror, um, and this fellow we also know but I forget his name. And let's see what is inside. Again a sturdy box from Fantasy Flight Games, we would expect nothing less. And here we are. <clears throat> so the obligatory at this stage, I'm just going to zoom out a little, um, um, catalog, uh, um, uh, here we have the Star Wars stuff, Runebound, um, XCOM. Wow, never heard of this one. Android Netrunner, the card game, and so on and so forth. Here we've got the small um, information sheet. The expansion icon is a claw, as we can see here, because we only have one monster type, as far as I know, and that's a thrall. That's this lady who's being possessed and um, who abominates, as it were. Beyond the threshold. Wilson's shotgun clattered to the ground as the woman's bulbous hand wrapped around his throat. Only a few hours earlier he had been investigating on her behalf, but no recognition flickered in her eye now. As his vision began to darken, a strange voice whispered in his ear and he struggled to remain conscious. Without warning, the hand around his throat slackened and Wilson sucked in a desperate breath. Green gas streamed into the woman's mouth and nose until the creature swayed and fell. Past her fallen form, he could see Akachi on Yele standing, arms raised and a grim look on her face. Mom, Wilson rasped, tipping his hat to her. It looks like we have some work to do. Um, when playing, so basically it explains what this is. Um, this expansion unlocks two new digital scenarios. As you know, um, Mansions of Madness 2nd Edition can only be played with the app. You cannot play this on your own, unlike Descent 2nd Edition, where you keep getting um, campaign materials and Overlord cards in the, um, in the um, expansions. Mansions of Madness is 100% app-driven. So basically you get two additional um, expansions. Um, a new digital mythos events. The expansion also includes new tiles, a new monster type, new investigators, a new damage horror spell item and condition cards to be used to further expand your investigations. Um, when playing with the Beyond the Threshold expansion, add key tokens, a new type of component to the general token pool. Add all other expansion components and uh, to their respective decks or pools of Mansion of Matter Second Edition components. Remember to update your app and go into your collection manager to add this product to your collection. And um, here you have um, a list of components, six map tiles, 16 fire or darkness tokens, two investigator cards and matching figures, four monster tokens and matching figures, eight common item cards, one unique item card, ten spell cards, nine condition cards, four damage cards, four horror cards, seven person tokens, ten clue tokens, four key tokens, two wall tokens. Additional rules. Moving tiles. During the game, tiles can move about the board. Ooh, nice. When a tile is moved, it is removed from its current position on the board and replaced in the central play area as indicated by the app. 
When that tile is moved, all figures, tokens and cards on that tile maintain their position on that tile. Some effects instruct players to place um, key tokens on specific items. A key token is a new type of component representing the supernatural nature of otherwise mundane objects. An item with a key token gains the key and evidence traits. An item with a key token cannot be discarded. If an investigator is instructed to discard an item at random, discarding an item with a key token is not one of the possible outcomes. Okay, so uh, straightforward, very short. Let's take a look. Here we have the heart of the game, the tiles. Um, I'm just going to remove this shrink wrap so that we can take a closer look. Um, <clears throat> Let's see. Okay, here we've got um, tiles uh, outdoors, indoors. Here we've got clue tokens, fire tokens, swap it around, darkness. Indoor, more indoor tokens, um, more indoor um, tiles, uh, the key tokens that were mentioned earlier, um, more indoor rooms. Obviously, we are talking about beyond the threshold, so that could mean inside. Um, <clears throat> wall tokens um, are people tokens. Tetsuo Mori, so basically um, people you can encounter fire, again, more room tiles, um, and here, oh nice, uh, stairwell, um, attic storage, darkness tokens, whoops, fire tokens, and this one's already coming out, and here we have uh, the thrall monster, so um, it's a really lovely picture, um, and I actually forget how those monsters work, what these figures indicate, because I haven't played in a while. But I mean, that's not going to be a big issue. And lastly, the, um, yeah, here are the standees for the monsters. Here you have the monster token and the monster um, sculpts. Um, I don't use sculpts when playing um, Mansions of Madness. I actually only use uh, the monster... Um, markers and I also do not use the standees um, I well I mean I will use them and I have painted I painted them last Christmas and the ones that I had and um, from the base game really quick and dirty because I really prefer the standees to these um, in my opinion inferior sculpts um, they have very limited value in my opinion they are very I don't know, they're small, they're not really well sculpted. I prefer the Fantasy Flight Games sculpts for um, Descent. I don't know why they went with this. Um, yeah, Either you go all out and then you make good sculpts or you leave it. Um, here we've got um, item cards and cards in general, the small cards. Let's see what we've got. Um, a 25 automatic, a black jack. Ah, okay. I always wondered what that was in English. Okay, Enchanted Blade, Fine Clothes, Scribe's Journal, Razor, Tomb, uh, Tome of Horrors, Tome of Secrets, some um, uh, mental problems and some injury cards. Um, um, cultist's journal mesmerized so that's a condition isn't it yeah insane more insanity cards arcane insight these are this is one spell that you're getting and two spells poison mist is also there so yeah um not too shabby gonna put it in here and then of course we have our two investigators we have mr wilson and akachi on yellow so this is wilson oh sorry wilson richards He's got 8 health, 6 brain. After you resolve a horror check, become focused. Not pass, but resolve. 
I wonder if pass and resolve are the same thing. I'll have to remind myself of this one because resolving is, you know, not necessarily passing. Uh, Miss Onyele has eight brain and six stamina. Effects cannot cause you to discard clues unless you choose to. Strength three, agility two, observation four, law four, influence three, will five. He's got strength five, agility four, uh, observation three, influence four, and will three. The story is so far. As a young girl in Nigeria, Akachi became used to being set apart. Her habit of chattering away to thin air and secluding herself from other children led her village to believe she was mad. Her village dislike, uh, her, her village Dibya was the first to see her true potential. He believed Akachi was marked by the spirits for greatness and taught her how to use her communion with them to her advantage. Under his tutelage, Akachi grew into a wise young leader, respected not just in her village, but in every community to which she brought aid. Now she meets her destiny head on, seeking out unnatural troubles that only her knowledge can stop. Wilson Richards has always been good with his hands. <laughs> he has a certain knack for fixing all things broken, busted or trashed. Wilson goes where the work calls him, moving from job to job as, um, as he is needed. He finds, oh well, maybe this guy could actually mend our broken water pipes because we have had um, a couple of burst water pipes where I live and I haven't had any water for two days now. He finds that if he offers folks um, a fair deal, they will treat him fairly enough in return. Still, he has seen some strange things on the road, and the abandoned and dilapidated houses are not the only places where he has felt his skin crawl. Those great big mansions sometimes have more wrong with them than just a leaky roof. Yes, a burst pipe. Wilson Richards knows he cannot fix everything, but when a man is fortunate enough to know his calling, he also knows better than to ignore it. Um, yeah, um, I actually love Akachi, um, I can't remember playing with Wilson, but Akachi is very powerful in, um, in Eldritch. Um, also, I think she's an awesome um, character, and I really like the fact that they're embracing um, different races as well, because there was this debate on um, board game geek as well, that um, it seems like <clears throat> this particular game tends to favour white people, not male white people, because we've always had a good um, few female characters, but that um, it was essentially um, white people, but um, they have definitely changed that, and I think that's really, really good, and that's really important. Um, I know that a lot of people say, well, you know, um, enough already um, with this um, diversity, um, discussion, but I think it is important um, to represent diversity not only, um, or especially in games, because um, games are a way to um, model, if you like, um, reality as well, and it is important to have this um, kind of representation everywhere that people begin to find that it is normal to see female characters, to see black characters, to see Asian characters, um, and uh, I'm, I'm very, very happy about this because um, I think Fantasy Flight actually does it really well, and they don't do it in a very in-your-face way either. So, um, well done, Fantasy Flight Games. Um, and that's basically all from me. Um, next up is um, Pandemic, so that's what I'm concentrating on. And also um, a brief update on um, <clears throat> basically the future of gaming in my household. Um, I don't think I will keep, well I'm saying this now and I might actually be wrong, but I don't think I will keep collecting um, um, the Lord of the Rings. Um, the most recent Saga expansion, that's, uh, sorry not Saga expansion, the most recent um, deluxe expansion that has been announced doesn't really pique my interest. Plus, I've got so many packs that I need to even just break out and start looking through that I don't see myself doing a lot of um, new gaming. Plus, I've also discovered that I really, really, really would like to um, get into legacy games, starting with Pandemic Legacy. 
Um, also Gloomhaven. I am going to get Gloomhaven, guys. Um, with regard to Eldritch Horror, I've decided to only buy one more expansion, and that is the Nihilathotep one, because that one comes with the um, personal stories for the investigators. And those of you who have been watching my um, playthroughs um, will remember that I actually took uh, the um, took uh, the base game Arkham Horror. Oh, sorry, the Arkham Horror stories. Um, for the investigators, and I customized them and adapted them for um, Eldritch Horror. And now, um, finally, uh, Fantasy Flight games have come out with official versions, so that's why I really want that particular um, expansion. But then I don't think I'll buy any more. I've got so many that I haven't even played. I have sleeved them, and I've stored them, but I haven't played them. Um, I also will not probably keep collecting Elder Sign. I've got so many expansions or enough expansions to keep me going for a good while. Um, and I think I now want to really consolidate what I've got um, and um, also move away from this idea of completion. Um, the best example is um, the, fan uh, the, um, the LCG, the Lord of the Rings LCG. Um, the deluxe expansions that I've got are really, really interesting, and I like the cycles that they've brought out. I wasn't going to buy the Haradrim one, and I wouldn't have bought it if it hadn't been for my online game store sending me the base game, um, the deluxe expansion, by mistake. And then I had it, and I said, well, actually, I didn't order this. I'll send it back to you if you pay shipment. They said, no, it's actually fine, just keep it. So now I've got the deluxe expansion, so I decided to get the cycle. Um, but really, I was just waiting for um, the Mountain of Fire, uh, and then I'm, I'm actually probably not going to start uh, um, keep collecting. And the same um, with Mansions of Madness. I've got the two tile sets. I've got the base game. I've got Beyond the Threshold. I have only ever played one game. Not because the setup is so awkward, but you know, you do have to spend time. You do have to invest time in this. I also have Kingdom Death Monster 1.0, two expansions. I've got 1.5. Um, I have not even reached Lantern Year 2. So I would really like to now concentrate on playing the games that I've got instead of adding to my um, um, collection. And. Um, so that's essentially what's going to happen. So watch this space for the unboxing of um, Naya Latotep for Eldritch Horror. It's not out yet, and I'm gonna, um, I've got the Gloomhaven second printing on pre-order, um, and I'm really looking forward to this. And I'd also like to use this opportunity for a couple of shout-outs. Number one, Miss Flame Paints is a Dutch lady who paints miniatures and she does um, tutorials and she also does a lot of um, uh, inf uh, she gives a lot of information on how to paint but also what to use and how to use certain things she did a really nice um, army painter quick shade tutorial um, she's been painting zombie side and also other miniatures I really like her channel go and check her out um, Sola McLaughlin, Flying Solo. Um, I have reconnected, if you like, with her channel. Um, at the moment, I'm watching her Seki Gahara um, uh, series. Um, I've watched her Pandemic series. Um, she does a really, really great playthrough of um, Lost Souls, um, or is it Forgotten Souls, for Descent 2nd Edition, the um, one of the three solo scenarios. And, of course, Hit Points Gaming. Um, there are a couple, and they have been playing um, Lord of, uh, sorry, um, Arkham Horror, the LCG. They're doing um, Pandemic Legacy second season. They're doing a great Gloomhaven playthrough. Of course, these are legacy games, so if you're watching them, there will be spoilers, but hey, I mean, I love watching them anyways. They have done a Seafall um, playthrough with two other people. They have done two... Kingdom Death Monster campaigns, and they're now embarking on the third one. Um, what else have I watched by them? Yeah, I've also watched their Seventh Continent. I mean, Seventh Continent is a, is a game that I will never get. 
Um, and I just have to say they are hilarious to watch. They are really, really great fun. Um, and yeah, just uh, check out their channel and, um, you know, uh, subscribe. Also, um, Sola McLaughlin, she is not, unfortunately, as active as I would like her to be. But she's a great explainer. I mean, if you want to understand how a game plays, for example, if you don't know how to play Pandemic, ignore the rule book. Go and watch her playthrough and you know what to do. And she's also um, a really lovely lady who um, um, has a great take on gaming and um, her channel deserves love as well. So um, that's all from my end and um, I'll probably be back before Christmas with a playthrough of Pandemic, um, my new addiction game. And until such time as we meet again, I wish you a pleasant um, Advent. Um, Pleasant Christmas, um, Happy New Year, Guten Rutsch, as we say in German, and um, hopefully we will meet again on this channel. Bye-bye.